what happens when you take sine of x and plug it inside the arc sine? Since they are inverse functions, do they just cancel each other and you end up with x? Well, if so, then if you take sine of x plus 2 pi and plug it into arc sine, if they simply cancel each other, then you should also end up with x plus 2 pi, right? But on the other hand, notice that sine of x plus 2 pi, because sine is a periodic function with period 2 pi, it's actually equal to sine of x. So these two functions should be equal to each other. Right? So what's going on here? Well, of course, what's going on is you have to remember that arc sine of x was defined as the inverse of sine of x on this interval when x is between minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So on this interval, indeed, if you plug in sine into the arc sine, they will cancel each other and you will get just this linear function x. However, on these other intervals when sine of x is decreasing, you can check that when you plug it into the arc sine, this composition will also be decreasing like this. It will be linear, but decreasing in this way. And because sine of x is a periodic function, this will also be periodic, so the same pattern will be repeated with the period 2 pi.